Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters, this is your brother once again Muhammad Rukia for all, alhamdulillah Ah, uh, brother and sisters We have to make dua Ad dua silahul mu'min Dua is the weapon of the believer Some will text and say Brother Muhammad, make dua for me, I have a problem So and so, but <laughs> sometimes my brother or sister i have more problem than you but what do i do what does brother muhammad deal or do you know when it comes to his problems how does he deal with it brother muhammad make dua allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the quran that وَإِذَا سَعَلَكَ عِبَادِي أَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبِ that if my servants ask you oh prophet muhammad tell them i am near subhanallah allah is near to his servants he will answer the caller, the one making the dua, the request. He will answer him. He will answer him when he asks. Subhanallah. Allah will answer, will, will answer, will grant the dua. But the condition, what is it? They have to believe so that they will be rightly guided. Meaning, if you want your dua to be answered, you have to, you have to believe. Don't doubt your dua. Don't, make, don't say, oh, I don't know, I'm just making dua. I don't know whether my dua is going to be answered because I have been making dua for so many years now and uh, I don't see any changes, subhanallah. Don't have that attitude when you are making dua. You are asking the Lord of the world, Malikul Mulk, Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal, La ilaha illallah. Kullu sayin fanin illa Allahul baqi. Everything will perish, everything will finish, everything will end except Allah the Almighty. If human beings and the jinn were to make a line and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, one after the other, whatever they want, Allah will give it to them and that will not reduce anything from his kingdom. Ma naqasa dhalika min mulki shay'a. Allahu Akbar. So, why do you feel like that asking Allah is too much for you? We, Allah, we, are, all, we are all closer to Allah because we are all closer to Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is closer to us. Allah is more closer to you than your jugular vein. So why do you think you are far from Allah the Almighty? Ask him of whatever you want. They say when you are making dua, make dua and ask Allah for favors and blessings that not only for you, but even your grand, great grandchildren will be part of it. La ilaha illallah. Because what Allah have will not finish. So whatever you have, Allah doesn't reduce nothing from his kingdom or anything. So ask him. In fact, Allah loves it when you ask him. But the son of Adam, they get upset when you ask them. Yaghdibi ibn Adama idha sa'alta. The son of Adam gets upset when you ask him. Wallahu azza wa jalla yuhibbu idha sa'alta. Yana adha ibad. You know? If you, you, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is happy when you ask him. You as a servant. And, uh, this is something which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yuhib Ida sa'alahu abda If a servant ask him MashaAllah So we ask him And uh, we know that asking Allah is a, is a worship It's a ibadah May Allah forgive all our sins and make us of people who will ask him But when you make dua Just know that either There is a hadith that says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Is sai that a servant, his servant, raise his hand and ask him and without him putting anything, like the servant put his hand down and Allah doesn't put anything there, meaning doesn't answer his dua. So Allah loves to answer your dua, just keep asking him, MashaAllah, Allah will answer your dua. And also you have to know that you sajabu li ahadikum, alam ya'ajil, any of you your dua will be answered as long as you are not in a haste, okay? So when they ask the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, okay, for Ya Rasulullah, and how is he in a haste? He said, Da'awtu, Da'awtu, Falam Yastajibili. How come I call Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? He said, I make dua, I make dua, and my dua is not answered. Meaning you are in a haste. Your dua can be answered. Like number one, you make a dua. Either you, the, the dua that you make, you see it manifest, meaning it answered. You, you saw it with your own eye. Or, that dua you made, Allah is keeping for you in the day of judgment, in the akhirah. You're going to need it there more than the dunya. Or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make it a shield for some misfortune that was to befall you. La ilaha illallah. So, 
we understand from this that your dua can your dua they even get answered without you even knowing but we make sure that we are not of people who consume haram you are eating mal haram you lie to get your wealth you steal to survive you consume riba you are a criminal that's the way you scam people to get money anybody which is being fed and nourished in haram will enter hellfire as mentioned in the hadith so if we uh, may, uh, uh, consume in haram living a haram life can make your dua not to be answered there are people subhanallah they make dua and they don't see any sign like their dua is not answered and you saw the people making dua their dua has been answered so learn from this as well and also when you are making dua don't rush and just make dua they say someone came in the mosque of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and raised his hand and he starts saying oh allah give me this oh allah give me this they say the prophet tells him sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he say you are you are in a haste meaning you are hasty how you say allah is a king when you ask him praise him the etiquette of dua i made a video about that like you praise him he is the creator of the heavens and the earth the example example like if you went if you go to a president or someone you want to ask them something you first of all start to say something nice about them oh you are a good blah blah you are a good leader you know mashallah you came from a nice family is it not <laughs> you just don't go and say hey give me this what walillahi mathalul a'la okay allah is not a human being so you don't treat allah like a human being but praise him allah loves when you praise him when you praise him allah say wa qul alhamdulillah say or oh, alham say alhamdulillah all praises due to allah so make alham okay and um yeah he is the creator of the heavens and the earth you alhamdulillah you praise him the sea is is, is huge you know it is magnificent all the fish in it Allah is the one that giving it life and every human being this sustenance came from Allah you know praise him and also cry your sins your sins can be an obstacle also sometimes it's mentioned in the hadith that a servant may lose some of his a servant may lose some blessings coming his way because of the sins that they commit La ilaha illallah. we don't want to be part of that sin causes blockages also you know since causing blockage since they cause blockage as well and um yeah thank allah for the blessing he given you he granted you you are 18 you are surviving you are healthy and all these things thank him you are not even on oxygen you are not in, even on uh, your sickness bed etc you know alhamdulillah thank him if you thank him he will increase for you as mentioned in the Quran, if you thank him, he will increase for you. But if you do what they call kufr ni'ma, be ungrateful, be ungrateful of the favors that Allah bestowed upon you. He says that, but if you are ungrateful, inna adabila shadid, that his punishment is severe. And then you ask him of whatever you want, alhamdulillah. Make sure your dua of the akhirah become more than of that of the dunya. Dunya is temporary, but the akhirah, hell is eternal, jannah is eternal. So make dua a lot for allah to grant you jannah and make the day of judgment easy for you and you ask him of your dunya also no problem and then you make salatu ala nabi salatu ala nabi allahumma salli wa sallim ala nabina muhammad allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala ni muhammad kama sallaita ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidun majid wa baraka ala muhammad wa ala ali muhammad kama barakta ala ibrahim wa ala ali ibrahim innaka hamidun majid or you can start the scholars say you can start with the salat al nabi or end with it no problem this is your brother muhammad okay for all and make dua that allah bring you for hajj and umrah as well okay make dua wherever you are allah is with you wherever you are so make dua ask you wherever you are no problem inshallah so when you come here also you make lot of duas as well assalamu alaikum